Yo, my name is Brother Rashawn Jones, a.k.a. St. Jones. Some may know me by my stage name, my Christian rap name. Um, I want to talk about Jesus and weed, man. It's 420, right? Now that I got your attention with the title, I wanted to share something with you, man, about my testimony. Uh, on this day, 420, April 20th, 2013, I got saved. I had an experience with Christ. I was born again. I had this incredible encounter with the lord that opened my eyes to what the gospel is who jesus is and it changed my whole perspective on what i thought you know god who i thought god was and what i thought the bible was and all that stuff so i wanted to share this and just in even in celebration of me being in christ for 11 years it was actually a saturday it was a saturday afternoon as a matter of fact it might have been around this time that i had that encounter as i'm recording this video but uh, so I'm going to just get right into it. Excuse the background noise. I got a lot of kids, by the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot that's happened. But listen, 4-20-2013, um, I was riding around with my buddy Chad. Shout out to Chad. We uh, we were smoking weed like we always do. Um, I was smoking. Um, I sold weed, so I always had it. Um, so it was just, you know, at this moment in time, I wasn't smoking as I, I used to be. Like before this moment, I was a, a extremely heavy smoker. But by this time, I had become an extremely heavy drinker. Um, I was rapping in the world. In fact, I had a show that day. It was a 420 themed show to do secular music um, at a place called Peaches in, in, in uh, Yellow Springs, Ohio. This is in Springfield, Ohio. That all this took place uh, where I was born at. And so, um, anyways, um, I was riding with my buddy. We just smoking weed, hung over from the night before. Um, um, and um, just to lay a little foundation, at this time, I was a full-fledged alcoholic. I was a what they, I guess, would call a, a functioning alcoholic, but I was an alcoholic. And so, I was drinking at, at least a fifth, of, uh, I mean, at least a pint a day. A lot of times, a fifth a day by myself, I had started drinking in the mornings. I had, if I would, didn't drink, I would have withdrawals. I couldn't sleep. So at this point, it probably was a good two years that I had a, a drink of alcohol every single day of my life. And I, at this point, I'm the age of 24. So um, anyways, um, hungover from the night before, we just riding. We about to smoke, go get something to eat, right? All of a sudden, I hit the weed and I had this crazy high where I literally felt like I was losing my mind. I literally felt like I had no control over my mind, over my mental and I started to uh, have just this this trip, man, this crazy high where um, it, it felt like the sky was falling. If, if there's any way I can explain it, it felt like every, you know, that emotion you get when you know something is about to go wrong or that 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 this 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 depressed feeling of inevitable doom. Like that's that's all I, the only way I can explain it. So I had that situation. And uh, I'm like, yo, something's going on with me, man. I'm telling Chad, and I'm like, listen, I'm about to just go to this church. It was my grandma Deborah. Shout out my grandma Debbie. It was her church. I went to man once every two years, if that. Um, and I, I just said, look, you know what? I'm gonna go to this church, um, um, and just hope somebody's there so I can go in there. Because at this time, I believed in God. I just did not believe in Jesus. Um, and again, just to give you some more background, I was reading this book called The Kabbalion. I was trying all different type of spiritual stuff. I had this search for, for truth, but I was looking in all the wrong places. I didn't start looking in the Bible until after this encounter. So I go into this. I pull up to this church. Like I said, Saturday afternoon, ain't no service going on. I just felt led to go up in there, man, because I needed help. And I, I wanted to find God. And I figured I'd go to church to find God. I go in there and the pastor, she happened to be walking out of um the church like about to lock it up and i'm like can i go in here and play pray please uh i'm debbie woods is the <laughs> grandson something's going on with me i just need to pray she's like look go ahead um do, do you do you want me to pray with you i said no i just need to go in here i went in there and went to the altar long story short man i felt like i heard this voice tell me to surrender my life and i started shaking and crying and, and just at this altar i just encountered jesus and i was born again just like that um, I walked out of there, uh, before I walked out of there, the lady came up she laid her hands on me and started praying for me. Um, and, and so, uh, it was, it was, that was my encounter with Christ. That's how I became bo a born again believer in Christ Jesus. And just to give you more background, I got a later foundation so y'all can understand this transformation was a miracle. Um, a couple years prior to that, I was riding with my cousin and my mom to Youngstown, Ohio from Springfield. And I'm just rolling a blunt, 
I'm just talking like, man, why people believe in Jesus? He's just a man. You know what I'm saying? This is my mindset concerning the things of the Bible and, and the Christianity as a religion, as a belief system. And so the Lord, uh, when I came out of that church, I immediately knew that Jesus Christ was the son of God, just like that. I immediately knew that the Bible was 100 percent real. And I immediately knew that I had to change my life. So I went to Goodwill, bought a Bible. My boy Chad was like, yo, you good? Tried to pass me the joint. I'm like, no, I'm done, bro. I can't do it no more. And so I just went and bought an NIV Bible um, at Goodwill. And that's how my walk with Jesus started. Uh, there's a, a more in-depth uh, testimony uh, about it. Uh, eventually, I'll be on Delafay testimony, sharing my testimony at some point where I'll be able to go in, in more details about it. But uh, I just wanted to share this, like, for those who um, have family members who aren't saved or those who um, don't really believe or don't, you know, have a desire or, or have this understanding that Christianity is just a false man-made religion used to, quote unquote, control people. Uh, I'm living testimony that that's not what it is, man. I I, I had this encounter with, with a Christ that I rejected and he revealed himself to me in a way that no one could ever convince me otherwise as far as who he is and what he's done for me. And so. I just wanted to get on here and share that, man. Um, today is my birthday. Uh, uh, the Bible says that we have to be born again in order to inherit the kingdom of God. And so uh, um, the new creation, the Bible says in, in 2 Corinthians five seventeen that if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Old things pass away. All things become new. So I am a new person. Uh, by the grace of God, I've been married 10 years. So I got saved April 20th. I got filled with the spirit in July and got married in September. And so I got uh, four beautiful children and one on the way. Actually, my wife is due any moment now. Um, I already have one daughter who was born on my actual natural birthday, which is December 12th. I got a feeling that my wife is going to go into labor today and, and that my baby's going I'm going to be born on my born again birthday. So I have a baby on my natural birthday and a baby on my born again birthday. And uh, I just wanted to get on here to share this, to glorify God, to encourage those to if you have family members who aren't saved, who are out here in these streets, who are out here doing stuff like I was I was I was selling drugs at the time. I was selling weed. I had 150 X pills in my pocket. I smelt like weed walking in there. I can I never forget. I had on some Nike slides, some LRG jeans, an LRG hoodie. And uh, <laughs> I smelt like straight weed. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the lady didn't say, "Ooh, you, you, you smell like weed. Get out of here. And she let me in there. And God met me at that altar. So um, you don't have to be at a church. This just was my understanding of I want to go to find God. So I figured I want to go to a church, man. But you can sit there and wherever you're at right now watching this video, you can say, God, reveal to me your truth. Uh, um, and he will reveal himself who what the truth is, because there's so many religions, there's so many different belief systems. There's even so many different uh, uh, sectors and denominations within Christianity that preach a lot of false doctrine, but get a Bible and talk to your creator yourself and he will reveal himself to you the same way he revealed itself to me. The Bible says he who hungers and thirsts for righteousness shall be filled. And the one thing I'm going to say is the Bible also says in Hebrews, I believe chapter six, it says, uh, uh he who comes to God must know that he is and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. Although I didn't know the particulars of who God was and what, you know, what did I needed to do to get to God? I had a desire to find out who he was and he revealed himself to me. And the, the bridge between uh, us and the heavenly father is Jesus. He said, I'm the way, truth and the life. And no one can get to the father except through me. So that's that that goes for anybody, man. So. I uh, just wanted to let y'all know that, man, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today and your life will change. Was I changed overnight? No, but my eyes were open in a blink as to what was real. And as I walked with God, submitted myself to him, allowed the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me into all truth. I've been transformed. I, did, I, I fell back into out drinking um, um, multiple times during my walk after being born again. Um, but, uh, by the grace of God, it'll be in September. It'll be six years that I have, that I've had, a, uh, that I haven't had an alcohol, a drink of alcohol. So, and I'll never go back. I'm totally delivered from that. It's not even a desire for me. So I just wanted to share this, uh, testimony cause we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. I hope I didn't take too much of your time. My name is St. Jones. You can check out my music on all streaming platforms. Also, if you want merch like this, you can go to sign to God.com and you can buy shirts and other shirts like in other different designs and hoodies as well to support the ministry and what we do. Um, man. So listen, God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. Happy 420. 
but we're doing it the sober way. Remember, the word of God says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may, devour, be, may devour, right? And so uh, we don't need no substances. We don't need no weed, man. We can get high off the most high. You heard? God bless. I'm out.